Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back. Today we are going to play uh, Free Diver together. This is a uh, fully interactive single player adventure in where you step into the role of a free diver that is capable of swimming to incredible depths without the use of scuba gear. A close call on your last dive has kept you landlocked for months, but when your uh, mentor, Dr. Lindstrom, an eccentric and brilliant scientist, claims to have made a stunning discovery in an underwater cavern, you decide to return to the deep. But before we are going to dive deeper into this story, here's a message from today's sponsor. Space Ops VR is a brand new team-based multiplayer shooter. The game sucks you into a real-time training program for elite soldiers that will prepare them for a possible alien invasion. It's up to you to make the best out of it and become the star of your special ops team. You will be able to fight alone or alongside your friends in co-op and you can even hone your skills in player versus player matches to find out who's ready for the real battlefield. Space Ops is now available on Steam and can be played on the Vive, Rift and Windows MR headsets. The link to this game will be in the description B. Hello. And that's about it. I want to give a huge shout out to Fiber and by the way for supporting the channel and being our sponsor today. I really, really appreciate it. And yes, now it's time to jump into the metaphors and play Free Diver. Quick heads up, this is going to be the full experience. Enjoy. Dr. Lindstrom? Hi. Is your name Dr. Lindstrom? We found this key card attached to your sleeve. Oh, I'm. My name's Ren. Ren Tanaka. Uh, Dr. Lindstrom. My boss. I'm Yash Lahari. I'm with the Bali Coast Guard. Actually, I work at the front desk, but I speak English, so they... They said you were involved in a shipwreck. Do you remember anything? Were there any other survivors? We didn't find anyone. Can you tell us what happened? According to the transcript of a distress call, your ship is the RSV Triton? Yeah, it's a research vessel. What were you researching? We discovered some archaeological ruins in a blue hole off the coast of Indonesia. Doc, I haven't been diving in months. Trust me, you'll want to see this with your own eyes. Okay then, the cave is 50 meters away. Don't worry. We will be monitoring you on the camera, and your watch will alert you when you need to surface for air. Roger, roger. You're a scuba diver. A free diver. What's the difference? Free divers don't use tanks or suits. We do something called breathing up that allows us to stay underwater longer. There we go. That is what I wanted to show you. Look at those cliffs. They're from before the Paleocene epoch. They predate humanity by about 60 million years. This is beautiful, right? It's very mysterious. This, uh, this game gives me uh, Tomb Raider vibes. I. I can't help it. Slow and steady. That's my style. There's an air pocket above you. Sweet. You have tremendous lung capacity. Oh, this is nothing. My mom could dive 80 meters. She was an armor. Pearl divers of Japan? I read about them. Astonishing women. So industrious. We're heading into the right direction. Mm. 
Ooh. Watch out! Red, are you okay? There's some seismic instability. Perhaps you should consider turning back? I'm fine. I'm fine. Sounds like a plan. Oh. I need to drop my... Oh wait, I can, of course. Yeah. Don't waste it, Nate. Don't waste it. That was a workout. <laughs> the tremor it made an opening. Just in time. Can you get closer to those center markings? Miguel, are you recording this? I am. It's reacting to your touch. Try touching all three emblems. Welcome to Freediver Triton Down. That was just a start. Emmy's not an alien. Emmy? That's what we call her. The doc thinks she comes from a lost civilization that predates. Okay. I just need to speak with my superiors. Wait. It's okay. Stay here. I'll be right back. I know how this sounds, but it's not a hallucination or PTSD or whatever. She's real. Can I see her? No. But, please, just hear me out, okay? She's a link to something ancient and incredible. We had to bring her on board, and when we did, we discovered she was emitting some kind of homing signal. We traced it to a location off the coast of Singaraja, but when we got there, the boat got hit by a roadway.
ship capsized. And was sinking fast. I knew I had to get out of there, but I needed to make sure the dock was all right. So I headed for the lab. Find the key card. Okay. I totally missed this. And that's how you ended up with the doctor's key card on your sleeve. And now I could access any secure area on the ship, including the lab. This should do the trick. Hey, haha. <laughs> this ship was confusing before it was upside down. So, no dog. And no Emmy either. I had to focus on escaping the boat. If Emmy could do it, so could I. Exit through vents, but I need to find something to destroy the lock. I got this. Oh, no time to waste. Ah. You must have seen a lot of bodies. I saw friends, AJ, who loved to bluff at poker, but <laughs> sucked at it. Miguel. The tough guy who turned into a teddy bear whenever he talked about his daughters. Poor fella. Hey! Oh, what was that? So, where did you go from there? I needed to get to the stairwell. Power back on. Now oh, it's stuck. It's a power room. Maybe I can. Ooh, this is tight. Come to Papa.
down there. Doc? You're alive. Oh, thank God. Where are you? On the bridge. You okay? Well, it is wet and cold. The door controls are on the roof, but the door is holding, so I'm safe. The power just came on. I assumed that was you. Yeah, I'm trapped behind the watertight door on B deck. Oh, I should be able to unlock that for you. Just give me a moment. I, I need to stand on my tiptoes and done. Thanks, Doc. Have you seen Amy? She wasn't in the lab. What about the rest of the crew? Did they all get off okay? AJ's gone. Miguel. Chen. Danica. Others. We need to focus on getting off the boat. We'll get through this. I'm going to head for the stairwell. Yes. Go. Uh, I will be on this channel. Oh! Oh, that went so freaking fast. <laughs> getting annoying now oh I can actually grab the bodies too Ugh. well no thank you so should I just swim through this is that a smart oh made weak by time and fate, but strong in will to strive, to seek, to find, and not to yield. Need to find something to once again break the lock. Also, there are like glow sticks everywhere. It's it's crazy. <laughs> Gotta catch them all. Oh, we're not done just yet. Ah. to to break <laughs> mm. oh there goes my axe <laughs> ouch oh. 
ship is sinking fast. Unblock the door. This this big one, you mean? How? Oh. That did something. I need oxygen. Fast. I can't breathe over here. Or can I? No. No. Oh. Hurry up, Nathy, hurry up! But there's no place to go. I'm 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 about to die. Yep. I'm out. <laughs> Gamers never die, they respawn. Watch me go. Oh. <sighs> I should have just kept going. How dumb. I'm stuck behind another watertight door. Sea deck. It should be unlocked. Let, let me try it again. Did that do anything? No. Hurry, Doc. Confound it. This infernal. I can open all the doors at once. The bridge will be flooded. No, I'll find another way. How? I, uh, I'll, I'll figure it out. Just don't do anything, okay? Doc, did you hear me? We will find a way out together. Goodbye, Ren. No! Doc! Doc! Uh-oh. you are let's follow the creature if we can oh powering up I have a feeling it can help us out. Help us escape. Plan. Doc, if you can hear this, 
listen. I know you think I never listen. But just this once, I'm going to do what you ask. I'm going to live. Slow but steady. Again. Come back. Wait for me. Come on, faster, faster. This is my chance. Oh, that doesn't look good. You sure this is safe? I, I don't think so. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, I nearly died there. I was running out of oxygen. Wait. Is that the end? Is it? I guess. Or was this part one? Episode one. I want to play more, seriously. Yep. That's it. Okay, okay. I think it's time for us to now then jump to the outro and end this video. And that was Freediver on this channel. I hope you enjoyed watching this, uh, this experience. If you did, then be sure to slam a like on this video. That would be uh, nice. Uh, let me know you care, of course. And I gotta say, uh, Freediver is a uh, cool cinematic adventure game. You can uh, finish it in about an hour. It is quite short, I agree. The game ends with a cliffhanger that, in my opinion, could have been more satisfying. It left me a bit in the dark, confused, if you know what I mean. According to the developers, with the ship escape, they envisioned the idea of an ending you would see in a blockbuster movie. And they also told me they are interested in exploring more of the story, if players are really digging it. I wish they went for a bit more variation. We only got the opportunity to discover the cavern and escape the ship. The escape was almost like 90% of the entire game and that's why for me it felt like an episode 1 instead of a full experience. If they gave us a bit more to check out in terms of locations, it would have felt more complete. This is the exact same story with the creature you find at the start. There is no moment in Freediver, as far as I know, where you can get close to it 
and interact with this creature. Yes, it does come closer when you're in the ship, but I tried to touch it, but nothing happened. My, my hand went straight through it, and that's a shame. At the end, there is space for that to happen, but that moment gets wasted. If it came closer to you at the end, being curious of who you are and giving you a signal to follow, I would have been more on board with the cliffhanger they went for. But this, this one, yeah, I don't know, it felt a bit empty. Anyways, enough about the story. The gameplay mechanics are great in this one and the way you swim through the water feels natural and the physics are definitely on point. Uh, the resistance of water can be felt through the haptics but also through movement and that's awesome. You decide the pace of how hard or fast you go by yourself and the fact you have the objective, the oxygen levels and glow sticks on your arm is super handy. Although I do wish there was an easier way to remove or replace these glow sticks. I found myself struggling with this uh, throughout the game and became a bit annoying in the end. Talking about annoying stuff, uh, grabbing objects in this game can be so freaking tough, I don't know why. There are moments where you constantly drop your axe, oxygen mask or glow sticks. And to hold on to something, you have to click the touchpad on the Vive controllers and that just doesn't work well. It feels unnatural and doesn't make much sense. Maybe the grip buttons in this case could have worked, uh, but that's up to the devs of course to figure out. Besides that, by the way, it's a solid title. I am so happy they went for a shorter experience, one that is super duper polished and Yes, yes, they could have guided players better to Freediver's Cliffhanger, but looking at their previous title, Evasion, that was a bit too ambitious, I think they made the right decision here. And that's Freediver Triton Down. It's not a bad game, it's not the best game, it's floating somewhere in the middle uh, if you are interested in a cinematic experience with a good story, then this is the one for you. And I also don't think there are many, many VR games that are all about, you know, diving and swimming through through caves and, and ships and stuff like that. So it is unique in, in, in many, many ways. Link will be in the description uh, below. And now it's time for me to sign off. And as I always say, and I see you all next time. See you in the metaverse.